Yo, 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 good morning. Grateful for another maggot-free day above the dirt, Jersey Shore. So today's video is called Practice Must Break Our Heart. And um, I know we often hear teachers talk about it's a path of the heart. This is a heart practice. And that's because compassion, empathy, understanding, tolerance, kindness, love, service, all comes from a heart base. And because we have this biological survival instinct that um, creates that fight or flight experience whenever we feel pain whenever we feel discomfort or uncomfortability this causes an internal process of retreating into the mind rather than staying with the heart and when we retreat into the mind under I'm not talking about critical thinking when we retreat into the mind because it's due to fleeing, retreating, the mind is in a survival mode where it will start spewing all the worst case scenarios. Why? Because that's its job, to prepare us for our reaction. So the problem is, it prepares us for the worst absolute case scenario. So when we do react, even if the worst case scenario doesn't happen, which is like 99% of the time, our reaction is for that worst case scenario. And that's why we tend to overreact and overcompensate. And, um, you know, the way the mind protects us is with seemingly unhealthy things. Um, it goes into a defense mode. The defense mechanisms are hate and anger and resentment. And, uh, you know, it, these things grow stronger the more we're, we're, we're taking refuge in, in, in this mind state. And what happens is the longer we're there, the more it intensifies, the greater uh, the fortress we build to hide in and um, we get stuck there. And a lot of ways we get stuck there is, and we've all been there, including myself, you know, we're spewing our revenge plots, our get even plots. Um, we're, 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 we're finding a security in, in these things because um, we don't have to face what we're feeling. We, get, we can lash out. So, you know, we, we, we're taking this, um, we're building these walls around us and spewing these, these narratives that protect us and push away everything. So it's not only the revenge plots, but it's the, the fantasies of how we want things to be rather than, than um, accepting how they are and so on. So um, Noah, back in the day, one of my teachers, Used to, used to explain or tell a story that said, you know what, every time we face pain, discomfort, unease, um, we take, picture a very, in a translucent, such a translucent layer of material that you can barely notice it's there. And every time we're in pain, we put that over our heart. Now, Think about this, over years and years of feeling pain, we put another layer on for every single incident. So with each, while we can see through the translucent layer and it's really nothing and we barely notice it, once we put on literally millions of these layers, we find that our heart has hardened to a point of complete rigidity. Um, there's no opening it, there's no entry into it and um, it's encased and it's basically dead. So 
our heart breaks closed from this. It closes and tightens and, and solidifies. And that's why practice must break it open. We must break our own hearts to get in there, um, to get to the depth that we need to get to and bring out the love, the compassion, the empathy, the understanding, the kindness, and so on. If we do not open our hearts to what would close them, we will never transform. We will never evolve. We will never liberate. We will never touch love, peace, and freedom. It's impossible. So, um, practice is learning how to bear what we deem unbearable. And there's a lot of it. There's a lot of unbearable things that we have to bear, that we have to bear witness to and have the experience of. But each time that we do, while, while you know, each time we put that translucent layer on, we, we, we got more closed off. Every time we do experience through the heart, the emotion, and the feeling of, of, of a difficult situation, we become more open to greater possibilities of dealing with it, right? Our, our, our lens draws back and gets bigger, and we see a much bigger picture, which enables us to, um, to manage this. You know, when we retreat into the mind, our picture is very, very close-minded and small. And when we, when we hold our own hearts, hold the pieces, stay with it, our picture gets huge and the possibilities are, are um, endless. So, you know, of course that doesn't mean we, you, you know, we don't feel great joy and happiness and satisfaction, but the depths of, of our satisfaction happiness, and happiness, we, we don't even touch if we don't experience the other side of, of a heart practice, which is, which is the unhappiness, the grief, the pain, the loss, the remorse. If we don't feel these things and see that there's a way through them, we'll never get to the depth of the complete and utter bliss we're looking for if that exists. You know, that's not my thing. I'm a happy dude. I'm satisfied. Uh, you know, when I do feel bliss, it comes and goes like that. So I'm not chasing that. And nor should you. Um, that can be another way of avoiding the heart as well. As you know, I've talked about over and over in bypassing, detachment, aversion, disassociation. So um, I'll leave it there. It's a heart practice. Let your heart break, but not break close. Let it break open. All right, have a great maggot-free day above the dirt. Peace out.